Now, the Treasurer, as Trudy alluded to, has described Labor's win in Dunkley as a big endorsement of the government's measures to ease cost of living pressures. Olivia Caisley is live in the studio and he's not ruling out a substantial relief in the May budget, not that yeah. far away. Yeah, he hasn't, but he has sort of said to you that uh, the major plank of cost of living relief from Labor is, of course, this renovation to the Stage 3 tax cuts. As we know, the Treasurer was a major backer of changing up the Stage 3 tax cuts and delivering a more... Uh, of a cut to low and middle income earners. And what I think is interesting is that the senior Labor sources concede that Labor was actually on track to lose Dunkley at the end of last year before they took this big political gamble to change that policy. Ultimately, this gave them something to talk about when they were out on the hustings in Dunkley. It was tell telling voters that they were doing something uh, about the cost of living and ultimately wedged the coalition who voted for the shake-up in Parliament. The Treasurer today also accusing the opposition of forging a negative campaign. It showed that only really one major party cares about the cost of living and that's Labor. Uh, the other mob more or less vacated the field and it showed as well that Peter Dutton's nasty negativity is no substitute for economic credibility or an alternative plan to deal with these cost of living pressures that we know people are confronting. the coalition didn't see the protest vote that they'd been hoping for in a seat that rejected the voice to parliament. Uh, it's mortgage stress. It's exactly the kind of electorate that the opposition wants to pick up at the next election. And there are questions being asked about how has the opposition not managed to deliver more of a swing uh, given the cost of living crisis. And uh, when we head into the next federal election, it's likely that inflation rate will have been going in the right direction. So they'll have that much more of a difficult political challenge. Nationals leader David Littleproud was asked about this this morning and he says that he's confident that the party can uh, strike the right balance in both uh, securing some of those uh, outer suburban seats as well as reclaiming some of the Teal electorates that they lost at the last election. We shouldn't give up on Teal seats. But like most of those, six of the seven uh, only need less than a 3% swing. Uh, and I think if we're smart and articulate, not only can we appeal to them, we can appeal to the outer suburbs. I've heard a bit of the, the commentary about, you know, we did well in Mount Eliza, therefore, you know, those Teal seats are back in play. But, you know, I, I'd make the point on that, that the two voter cohorts that really drove the result in the Teal seats being young millennial renters, being that sort of older, progressive, very Melbourne sort of cohort, are almost entirely absent in Mount Eliza. Yeah, some of the analysis off the back of Dunkley and the other thing that's been raised is where is the coalition at with its own suite of policies? That's right. So uh, especially on things such as energy. So uh, they will be unveiling a new energy policy around nuclear in the next couple of weeks. They essentially want Labor to end the moratorium on, on nuclear. They say that it should be part of Australia's uh, energy mix and that it's a cheaper and more reliable source of a power rather than converting uh, the national grid to just renewables. So what they're going to do is identify potential locations for small modular nuclear reactors and also detail plans for safety standards, uh, regulation and waste disposal. Prime Minister, though, not so keen uh, about the idea when asked on radio this morning. There's a debate every 10 years. There was at the beginning of the Abbott government. Guess what? Nothing happened. There was during the Howard government. Guess what? Nothing happened. And no one has ever been prepared to put up a dollar. And the market shows that uh, renewables is the cheapest form of energy. So we wait to see the details of that energy policy. Ultimately, a bit of soul-searching happening yeah. post-Dunkley as uh, the coalition forges their path ahead and we are expecting a limited reshuffle in the next couple of weeks as OK, well. yep. So uh, getting everything ready and a match fit for the election year. Thank you.